I'm Mitchell Boggs, president of the 2018 Dalton Quarterback Club. We'd like to welcome you to the 2018 Dalton Football Preview Show. I'm joined with head coach of the Dalton Catamounts, Matt Land. Coach, how's it been this summer? It's been a great summer. Kids have worked really hard. Our coaches have worked hard. Uh, you know, the great thing about Dalton is our facilities are second to none. And, you know, just the, the probably the diversity of the things that we're able to do uh, kind of keeps it as exciting as it can be. I know you remember – uh, wasn't too long ago you were out here, although it was a little longer than we like. And uh, it gets a little boring in those summers, but uh, our, our staff has done a great job of keeping these guys on edge. Talk about how intentional you've got to be with your workouts over the summer considering you get a short amount of time of practices before the season starts. Yeah, it's, it's a, um, you know, there's some great opportunities, but there's also some things that's been hampered. Certainly the heat index policy comes into play, uh, the limitations on the amount of uh, pad work that you can get in and that kind of stuff. Uh, but at the same time, there's more, it seems like, seven-on-sevens, there's more pad camps, there's more and more opportunities that if you can kind of stay within the, the rules of the GHSA, and, and all schools, you know, we do, uh, you at least get an opportunity to see your guys in a lot of different environments. Uh, so we've we've gone off to FCA team camp, had a pan camp there, pad camp at Pickens County. We've had about five 707s seven that we've worked, and then we just had some good work days with some schools here, local schools that we kind of work with. And I think we've got kind of a good idea where we're at, but certainly been some great opportunities for us. We've got another exciting schedule this year, open up the season with – the old uh, faux ring gold. Yeah, right. Talk about that. talk about our schedule. Talk about some of the exciting games that we can expect. Talk about our region and and uh, we know it's very strong. Talk about what it'll look like this year. Well, yeah, it, it, it's you know it's great to bring back Ringgold as a as a team that we can put now back into our uh, back into our schedule. Northwest will also we have a, a our, we start though with our scrimmage with Cartersville, which is a great opportunity. Coach King's got you know everybody's kind of been watching there. It's, it's great to see a good team like that. And then you put a kid like Trevor Lawrence with it. So they've had some success. They're kind of in a similar place with us. They're kind of beginning to rebuild. So our first scrimmage is really going to be a uh, for lack of a better phrase, it's going to kind of be both of us kind of filling out who we are and what we can do. Uh, then we come in, like I said, we're Ringo and Northwest, our two non-region games, and then we're right into our region play in the third week. Uh, and for us, you know, it, it, the, the road, um, you know, the 6A talent level, I think is it's some of the it, if it's not the best certainly it's right there with 7A. I mean everybody watches the games you know at the end of the year and uh, it's it's really something special to see a lot of the guys. So even when you're playing a team that might be three and seven, they still got talent, mm -hmm. talent that you're going to see on next Saturday. Uh, the next year. So, uh, you know, whether it's South Cobb, Osborne, or any of our Cobb County teams uh, or our Canton teams, we really got to be on edge. And I, I think this year you got some big games, certainly with Harrison, um, that, that with the loss of Justin Fields last year after our game, I felt like they became a better team because more people had to then step in. We've seen that here at Dalton, meaning with a big injury, you know, happens. And you, but certainly Harrison's a team. I think Altoona's probably still the best team in the region. I think they're the ones. I mean, they're the reigning region champions, so it's got to go through them. Uh, and then I think, like I said, I think Creekview, I think Sequoia are two teams that certainly every year they give us a good dogfight. And I think, you know, th those are certainly the games that you got to look at, but I, I don't think you can undersell any of our region games. One of the things that we've gotten used to here at Dalton is that every year we've got to replace good kids, really <laughs> talented happened. kids. But we always do it. That's right. That's right. Um, That's so right. talk about the kids that are going to be stepping in some new roles sure. that, that you guys have had to coach up and get ready and right. expectations for some of the kids that we're going to see for the first time. Well, 2016, we lost 17 uh, starters. And, and we kind of said to ourselves, wow, that's, I don't know if we've ever had to replace that many. Well, then last year, We've now got to replace 15 starters. So now you're kind of going, wait a minute, this is like same song, second verse, you know. But I think that's testimony for all, for first of all, for just our staff. I mean, we develop every single player here. Uh, for the last two years, every single senior has started for us at some position, either in special teams or offense and defense. And a lot of those guys were first-year starters. They waited their time. They played JV, they played freshman, and they, they got their opportunity, and they were patient, and they worked hard, and certainly they've reaped the success of that. Um, we, we've got a very similar situation like I said we got to replace 15 stars but the great thing about it is we play about 35 kids every Friday night uh, we've always been committed b before I mean with coach Chapel to two platoon there's a few names you're going to see I mean I think when you when we went to 6a we saw that there's those instances on the field your best 11's got to be on the field and that means somebody may have to come up but overall we're going to play about 30 to 35 kids on Friday night and so what that means is we're generating a lot of experience for the next year so you are replacing starters, but at least you've got a guy that's played eight, seven, five, ten. 
15 reps per game during that season. So he's at least got enough experience that you can kind of look at him. And when you talk to him about game speed, he knows the difference in game speed 6A and game speed JV or game speed freshman. Well, Coach, we appreciate you joining the show. I know y'all are excited about this season. We are, too. We invite all the Catamount fans to show up August 17th as we start the season with Ringo. Coach, we're excited about it. I know you are, too. Absolutely. Thank Thanks. you. Go Big Red. Thanks for joining us. Go Big Red. Welcome back to the Dalton Catamount football preseason show. I'm here with former president Rob Taylor and still a current member of the quarterback club, very important to us. So, Rob, tell us about the things that have been happening with the quarterback club, the things that we're doing to support this program. Uh, like always, Mitchell, we are rolling hard, getting ready for this 2018 season. And, you know, as the quarterback club, we support our boys and everything with food, buses, uh, equipment, and uh, anything and everything you can think of we support them with and, and help them out with. Without the quarterback club, uh, they'd have a hard time, I think, sometimes. So we're excited, though, and excited about having you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, we've got a new addition. Um, it was installed right before the season started last year. Um, talk about the video board and what it means to our program, the things that people get to enjoy with it. We call it the D-Tron, right. uh, the Dalton D-Tron, and we are so excited to have it. It is, uh, brings a whole new element to the game on Friday nights. If you've not been here, you need to come check it out. Uh, it also has some great um, corporate sponsors opportunities. And, uh, you know, if you're a corporate sponsor and you're sitting out there, hey, I want to advertise on this, you need to get in touch with me or you, one of us, and we can get you up there. And uh, we're excited. We're going to try out some new things this year with it. We've added a brand new camera to the side, some new different uh, pictures and ways to see. And it just brings a whole new element. It almost makes you feel like you're sitting at a college game on Friday night. And uh, so many people say, gosh, I watch the board more than I watch the game. And it just brings a lot of excitement. We're so excited and very thankful to all of our corporate sponsors that have given to be able to have it. We couldn't have done it without them. Yeah, absolutely. It's something that we're very proud of, something that is very unique to the state of Georgia, um, something that we think will bring a lot of excitement to our program and look forward to utilizing in the future. If you've got interest, if you got interest in uh, advertising on the board, please let us know. We'd love to get you up there. And Rob, to, to finish up, where can the folks who are interested in joining the quarterback club, where can they go to join up? They can go to daltonfootball.com. There's a link right on the home page, and they can sign up. Uh, they can sign up anytime they want. We have a couple of different, several levels this year. We've got some new levels this year. And uh, please, we really need your uh, financial support, but we also need your volunteer support. We need your time, too, because we always have things that we can uh, get people to do. We'd love to have you join. Well, Rob, we appreciate everything you do for us. Um, we'll be right back to the Catamount preseason football show. We're joined now by Coach Bennett of the Dalton High School football team. Coach, tell us about this summer, what the kids have been doing to get ready for this season. Kids worked really hard. Mitchell, uh, you know, we, Coach Thompson does a great job in the weight room. Uh, they've gotten stronger. Um, some of them have gotten a lot faster over the summer. Uh, so it, it's, 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 been a good, it's been a good summer, really, really good summer. Talk about some of the kids that we're going to see. They're going to step into some new roles, new positions, some some new names, some new faces we may see. Talk about some some expectations there. Uh, Ethan Arnold uh, has transferred in. Ethan was an outstanding wrestler, and, and he is uh, he's a defensive lineman. Uh, had a great spring. Um, we've got some young defensive ends: uh, uh, John Ross, uh, Tyson Swope. And uh, and then Sam Carlson has moved over from offense and is going to play defensive end for us. So we've we've got some new faces and not necessarily young faces, but new faces on defense. And then Christian Lamas back from last year had an outstanding year. So uh, our defensive front is pretty good. Well, Coach, we appreciate you joining us. Your family means a lot to us. We love you to death. Look forward to a big year. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, we're now joined by defensive coordinator Kit Carpenter. Kit, thanks for being on the show. Uh, tell us a little bit about. Your coaching career here at Dalton. How long you been here? How things have been going? It's been uh, it's been going well. I've been here 17 years. Actually, my first year was your senior year, yeah, and quite uh, a ride. yeah, yeah, it was quite a <laughs> ride. And you know what? We've been trying to duplicate that for many, many years. I know everybody knows that we play in a tough region. We travel a lot. Talk about uh, the region this year. Is it going to be strong? Is it going to be competitive like it always has been? Absolutely. These guys, there's there's great coaches in our region. Great coaches in 6A and. Uh, for us to go out every week, we've got to be at the top of our game. I know at Dalton, this is something we get used to every year. We lose a lot of good kids year in and year out. And part of what has made us really good is the fact that 
we coach our kids up and get them get them in there ready to take somebody's spot and do their thing. Talk about some of the young men that are going to be stepping in, some new roles, some new faces we may see this year. Uh, we've got a lot of young kids, and helping those guys make the transition from from playing in the freshman games to even get ready to play on the SPN last year. You know, so it's it's quite a step. But those guys uh, get to work in, and, and they're doing all right. Now you had a, a great career here as a catamount as a player, and went on and had a great career at NC State. Talk about what it's like coming back, coaching at a place that you played that meant so much to you. Well, football's always been very important here, and with these kids, there's nothing no, nothing lost on that. We, we're playing now with uh, some kids that I, of the parents that I played with, and so it's been really interesting. But just being here in this atmosphere, you just can't beat it. Well, we appreciate you joining us on the show, and we'll be back with more. Thank you. We're now joined on the Catamount Football Preseason Show with offensive coordinator Adam Martinez. Coach, how's the summer been? Well, I tell you what, the kids have been working hard. You know, it's been one of those things that – We've been installing. We have, we're have we very young this year, you know, and with the new quarterback. Uh, of course, Jameer Gid's coming back, and, and uh, so that's going to help us a lot, you know, uh, with our run game and stuff. But, yeah, well, I'll tell you what, the kids are working hard. Um, Coach Thompson, as Coach Ben alluded to it, doing a great job. And the kids are getting faster. They, they've bought into it. They understand what we're trying to do and what we're trying to accomplish on offense. I know on the offensive side of the ball, Dalton for a long time was known for lining up and pounding it down your throat. But the last couple of years, we've really seen it spread out a little bit, use the weapons on the outside. Is that something we can continue to expect to see? Well, you know, for us, we always consider ourselves a power offense. You know, we're Dalton. That's just what we're going to do. And uh, whether or not we motion somebody in or out uh, really doesn't uh, – destroy what we do uh, from a day-to-day -day basis uh, at the end of the day um, it's no secret uh, you got to find number one and uh, he, he's a uh, he's a special player and uh, he's even a better person you know one of the things that we've gotten used to in, in Dalton is the fact that we've got to replace a lot of good kids every single year and that's kind of what we pride ourselves on as our coaches coach our kids up and and the new ones that come along are just as good as the old ones talk about some of the new kids that we're going to see out here and and the expectations for them sure you know Landon Allen he's coming in from uh, the Chattanooga area and boy what a big arm he has reminds me a lot of you tall he, he can get the job done. really really big arm really then big arm. yeah really and uh, but yeah he, he's he's a new kid you know and when you come to a new place in a, in a playbook like ourselves gets thrown at you it's a lot to learn and it's a it, it's a lot of growing pains as, as you well know but you know with him and then just these young kids in general on the offensive line as well in the perimeter you know it's not e it's not an easy job and uh so repetition and more reps and more reps like coach McClurg used to always say that's what we do and and at the end of the day we're going to pound it and then uh if something opens up in the perimeter that's what we're going to take take advantage of well, I know we're all excited to see this season get started. We want to thank Coach Martinez for joining us on the show, and we'll be right back. Appreciate it. Taj Love, senior, number two, running back in slot. Jared Montgomery, senior, number three, running back. Alexis Magana, senior, number five, DB kicker. Ivan Mora, senior, number nine, kicker punter. Andrew Cruz, senior, wide receiver, number 12. Jamal Macon, number 13, senior, receiver. Jack Ridley, senior, number 29, outside linebacker. Tal O'Brien, number 30, defensive end. Jackson Elkins, senior, defensive back, number 31. Austin Hackney, senior, number 32, defensive back. Andrew Magana, senior, number 37, defensive back. Justin Ketchum, senior, number 40, outside linebacker. Jackson Wells, number 46, senior, outside linebacker. Nick Lama, senior, number 47, linebacker. Hunter Brown, senior, number 68, offensive line.
Mario Vasquez, senior, offensive line, 74. Nathaniel Lopez, senior, number 75, offensive line. Little Torres, senior, defensive line, number 78. Alan Molina, senior, 79, defensive end. Sam Carlson, senior, number 85, defensive end. Marcus Simpson, senior, 88, wide receiver. Ethan Arnold, senior, number 89, defense lineman. Leo Garcia, senior, 97, defense line. Jimmy Gibbs, uh, junior, number one, running back. Tyson Swope, junior, number eight, defensive end. Landon Allen, junior, number 10, quarterback. Bryce Houghton, number 14, junior, athlete. Malachi Gregory, junior, number 21, DB. Gabe Hill, junior, number 22, inside linebacker. Joshua Moore, junior, running back, fullback, 24. John Ross, junior, number 36, defensive end. Mac Montoya, junior, number 38, defensive end. Lane Cox, junior, uh, 44, middle linebacker. Brant Bagley, junior, 53, offensive line. Saw Espino, junior, 54, offensive line. EJ Garcia, junior, 57, offensive line. Ryan Leroy, 50, number 58, junior, defensive line. Bakari Allen, junior, number 59, defensive line. Esteban Broom, junior, 61, offensive line. Harrison Jones, junior, 62, defensive line. Fabio Garcia, junior, number 64, offensive line. Osvaldo Beltran, 70, junior, offensive tackle. Manuel Vega, junior, 73, offensive line. Jeremiah DeFour, junior, number 81, receiver. Edgar Zuniga, 82, junior, wide receiver. Giovanni Spiria, junior, 84, wide receiver. Esteban Ibarra, number 90, junior kicker. Christian Lama, 98, uh, junior defensive line. Fuller Vineyard, sophomore, number four, defensive back. Parker Adams, sophomore, number 11, safety. Elijah Diaz, sophomore, number 15, running back. Zach Rich, sophomore, number 16, defensive back. Braden Crawford, sophomore, number 18, DB. Rashawn Sidman, sophomore, number 19, safety. Marisa Quintero, sophomore, 
number 20, defensive back. David Garcia, sophomore, number 23, uh, outside linebacker. Hunter Nolan, sophomore, number 25, receiver. AJ Hernandez, sophomore, number 26, DB. Maurice Howard, sophomore, number 28, running back. Rhett Tripp, sophomore, number 34, wide receiver. Tatum Benton, sophomore, number 35, DB. Graham Hansen, sophomore, number 39, defensive back. Jose Colazzo, sophomore, number 41, outside linebacker. Caleb Hernandez, sophomore, 42, defensive back. Elijah Pineda, I am a sophomore, number 49, I'm a DB. Abraham Carrillo, sophomore, number 50, uh, offensive line. Anthony Cruz, sophomore, number 60, offensive line. Cesar Murillo, sophomore, number 63, offensive line. Coy Gray, sophomore, number 65, offensive line. Aiden Sumner, uh, 66, sophomore, offensive line. Tyson Neal, sophomore, number 67, offensive line. Tyne Thurman, sophomore, 71, offensive line. Enrique Sandoval, sophomore, number 76, offensive line. Fisher McElrath, sophomore, 80, receiver. Sam Tidwell, sophomore, 83, wide receiver. Jacob Byertz, sophomore, number 86, wide receiver. Dominique Simpson, sophomore, number 93, defensive end. Byron Nance, sophomore, number 95, D-Lon. Riley Reese, sophomore, 99, defensive line. JV and Wright, freshman, running back, number one. Ashton Blackwell, quarterback, number two. We're in Page, uh, freshman, number five. Journey Boston, freshman, number seven, receiver. Bentley Myers, freshman, 11, wide receiver. Jair Torres, partner kicker, freshman, 14. Brady Penley, freshman, running back, 15. Brock Johnson, freshman, 18, inside linebacker. Demi Medina, freshman, number 19, I'm a right receiver. Parker Eicholtz, freshman, number 20, outside linebacker. Jair Garcia, freshman, 21, running back. Bryson Benton, freshman, running back, number 24. Blake Hammond Tree, freshman, 28, outside linebacker. Austin Fisher, freshman, 35, middle linebacker. Carlos Colazzo, Freshman, outside line back, 
Dylan Center, freshman, number 48, inside linebacker. Isaac Lopez, freshman, offensive line, 52. Hezekiah Duncan, 54, freshman, offensive lineman. Joseph Wilson, freshman, offensive line, number 55. Melanda Sintara, 56, freshman, offensive line. Isaac Medina, freshman, uh, lineman, uh, 50, 56. Jesus Diaz, uh, freshman, number 61, lineman. Rodrigo Pina, freshman, defensive lineman, number 61. Damien Vital, freshman, defensive end, number 62. Anthony Pacheco, defensive line, number 64. Charlie Patrick, freshman, offensive line, 69. Brendan Arredondo, number 74, defensive line, freshman. Luis Vargas, freshman, defensive line, number 76. John Frank Patterson, freshman, 87, tight end. We'd like to thank you for watching the 2018 Dalton Catamount Football preseason show. We want to encourage everybody to get out to Harmon Field on August 17th as the Catamounts kick off their season with the Ring Gold Tigers. A couple weeks later, we'll head up to Tunnel Hill to take on the Northwest Bruins. It's going to be a, another exciting year here at Harmon Field for these Dalton Catamounts. We thank you for your support. We want to encourage you to join the quarterback club if you haven't already. We look forward to a great year, and we look forward to you being a part of it. Thank you.